So guys, what's going on? SW here, and today we're going to talk about Jax. As you know, guys, as we saw the episode 2 of the Amazing Digital Circus, uh, basically what we what we saw so far about Jax is pretty much he's overall sadistic, and he doesn't even care what he does or whatever. He doesn't even care what others feel, whatever, you, or the pain, whatever. You, ever since we saw that since the pilot, since the, since the pilot episode, okay? So basically, in in the second episode, once we saw Jax is trying to like try to to expect something like something like a final boss, violence, what have you. Instead, he met with disappointments at the end. But at least, at least at the end, he got he got uh, that sense of hope since because as you know, he unleashed a fudge monster and literally um, the 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 candy kingdom is in well get eaten up so yeah so there's that but honestly once but Jax is still overall disappointed and also I'm pretty sure that that's the case if um I might think that Jax is probably the next next character to be abstracted like we saw with Kofmo once he got distract abstracted since he went insane about the exits what have you uh basically if I've been thinking this theory, and especially I talk about this on uh, my live stream last night. I basically said that there's a there's a chance that Jax might be might be next to be abstracted. Why? Well, because he he is disappointed in overall. Like seems like he's stressed out. As once again, you, you, once you're stressed out, you can feel like they can be abstracted as well once they're stressed. Especially with Pomni, uh, we saw, wait, excuse me, once we saw her in her dream about her extractors because all the stress, especially the pain and even panicking once she's in the Amazing Digital Circus. When we see that dream, we see, get to see uh, Ragatha, Ragatha Kane there, especially they, in her dream, they simply say they don't care about her, what have you. But at the end of the day, once, once, uh, once again, Pomni get get to see um, Gamigo gets literally, uh, uh, uh Kane snap, <laughs> and we saw she her going insane, which probably meant um, the further the episodes goes, I'm pretty sure Pomni is about to get near abstracted, but in that same and in the same episode when we saw the ending where Pomni. In the back of her dream, she saw that Kinger, Subo, and Ragatha grab onto her, which we also she has a a sense of hope because there's there's uh friends there with it, especially with Kinger, Ragatha, and Subo. But if you take a closer look, we we don't see Jax in the mix. Pretty much, Jax is overall once again he doesn't even care what have you he in and. Once he, he, if he doesn't get anything in his way, he will literally be stressed and, and also he might, there might be a stat chance he will be ab abstracted, but we don't know when and how, but, I, but there's a time window, a limited time window, but it's not going to happen quickly. I think it's going to happen very soon. And if, if, um, Pomni decides to like, you know, change his ways or I, I don't know, probably, well, find ways to to get on with Jax, um, like not not to be abstracted, but I but overall I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Jax might be a little bit a little bit impossible to to handle, because once again we see time and time again he's very well mischievous and very much uh very much uh, a tro a big troublemaker and sadistic. As even even Goose Works herself says that Jax deserves to be in the Amazing Digital Circus, which I can see why because in the Amazing Di in, in the in the game basically Jax can do whatever he wanted to, no matter what the, no matter what the pain of others are. So as long he he gets he gets what he wishes for, and once he doesn't get what he wants, he will be stressed out and probably be abstracted if it continues on man even then in during the episode during Kapo's funeral uh we get to see a glimpse of Jax like literally being so disappointed once he saw us, um 
the rest of the game morning for Kapmo and pretty much this like a slight slight glimpse of him like a little bit feeling bad but I'm not so sure if that's true or not but we get a glimpse of seeing that but like because once again we we really need to know what J Jax really is in the real world and once again Jax is the youngest of the bunch okay uh he is basically like 22 years old. Yeah. If I remember correctly, in in, in Gooseworks' Tumblr, she, she did literally laid out the ages of the characters, which I know Pomni is 25, but she, oh, yeah, Jax is the youngest of the bunch, <laughs> like 22. Uh, basically, uh, that is like a young adult kind of age, uh, but we don't know how long Jax has been in, in the circus. I'm pretty sure he came in at, at a very young age as a teenager, which I don't know, somewhere between 16 and 17, I suppose. Uh, basically, he he's more he's more like an amateur type of te teenager. Like he's like very very like acting like a child, but even then, which sometimes typical normal teenagers at the time like literally one of them, they play video games for fun, especially. <laughs> Uh, violent video games like Grand Theft Auto, what have you, uh, they they can do whatever they want to it because it's it's fiction. That's why. And pretty much once Jax got into the circus, he he basically enjoys what he's doing in inside the game, uh, especially uh, making making pain of others because he doesn't even care for others as well. So, um, but there's. One one thing is close that once he doesn't get in his way, he will he he will be bummed out and and very disappointed disappointed and especially if he comes to closer to stress, there's a might a chance he might get abstracted, probably, and I think yeah I don't know if yeah, I don't know if it's gonna happen in future episodes what have you, but I'm pretty sure uh, Jax is gonna be abstracted next, but. But who knows? But just we had to wait and see what's the what's the future of the Amazing Jojo Circus gonna be, and, and even then, uh, we could get to see uh, a lot of character interactions, what they do, how they do, and what have you. Uh, especially with that part where Kinger tells Ragnar about his experience with her when she first joined in the circus, and she acts very. Very uh, in panic, and Kingers said something about calming her down. There, I'm pretty sure uh, in future episodes there pretty much be more backstories than I can think. But I I find that highly unlike unlikely. But uh, I'm not so sure. But let's just wait and see. Okay, so that's all I had to say, guys. Comment what you guys think. What's gonna happen? And do you think Jax is next to be abstracted? Who knows? Just let me let me know in the comment section down below. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sub like a comment. As always, I'll see you next time. My next bits. Peace out.